Hey, welcome back to another video of the series. Uh, so we're a part one of this new series. So uh, in this video, we're going to tackle uh, configuring SCCM configuration items and baselines. Uh, after the last video, we did some pretty intensive uh, digital forensics. So I thought we should just uh, move straight into uh, doing a bit of this. So for our first exercise, we're actually going to create uh, Windows uh, configuration items for compliance settings. So we're actually going to break that down. So we're going to first create the configuration item to uh, determine compliance for the settings related to uh, the OS and its configuration. All right. So to get started, we're going to open the configuration manager console, right? Uh, shouldn't take long, too long to load. All right. So now we're under the assets and compliance uh, workspace, and we're just going to expand the compliance settings. All right, perfect. Let's take a look here. Uh, configuration items. And then we're going to create another item here. All right, we want to do our home page setting. And let's actually click for categories. We just want the IT infrastructure. All right. <clears throat> all right, perfect. So now I'm um, actually going to. We don't need all, we just need one. Okay, this one here, let's see what's all included. Okay, just that 64 bit, okay, not too bad. All right, settings, uh, let's feel we're actually gonna get into getting something in there in a moment. Actually, you know what, let me see. Yep, there it is, I was gonna be on the next page. All right, so, same. All right, it to be green. One to, look, to apply, of course. Oh, um, all right, actually, let's see what's going on. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do some user. All right, <clears throat> and then let's see software, and Microsoft. I'm actually doing it. And then everything explorer. Actually, let me open this up a bit. It's really bothering me. I like to see everything. Uh it There it is. All right, perfect. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to do the default page URL, which is good to go. And must not exist on client devices. All right, perfect. <laughs> that took a uh, crazy setting, right? So now that we're back on the dialog box here for the setting, but I hit apply, then we're actually going to take a look at the client rules. And the default, we're just going to delete it because we're going to create our own. All right, so there's nothing there. So, you know, naturally, we're going to create a new one, right? It's part of the new compliance rule. So in this rule, we're going to name it dot, like we did, we do with all of our all of our other labs, all right? <clears throat> and then we want these here. All right, perfect. We're good. We're good to go. So... Of course, we want to apply. Okay, here. And then we go to the next. And for compliance rules, those are good. Summary, that's good. Now, this progress doesn't take long at all. It's good. Perfect. So we can actually close that out. So now we can actually, we should be able to see the, uh, the configurator item we just created. Let's see here. There it is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? All right. Come on. Don't go bad. All right. Let's do this out. So now we're able to move on to our next exercise, which is creating configuration baseline and deploy that baseline, right? So we can actually evaluate the compliance in SCCM by defining the configuration baselines themselves. So the configuration baseline, I, keep, hey, <laughs> I have to keep saying it over and over. It, it just gives us a predefined evaluation, right, of the items we want to evaluate. So it can also contain another configuration. <clears throat> uh, configuration baseline, I'll just say CB. 
see if that will work a little bit better. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to create a new one. All right, perfect. And naturally, we're just going to keep, if I can spell, I'm not sure if I can, if I can spell today. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, so we got that taken care of. So let's add. All right, of course, naturally, we're going to add some configuration items. All right, perfect. I love it. All right, so there, perfect. Then we want to add it. So now we got it here. Okay, now my mouse to go out. There it is. Okay, perfect. So we're good there. All right, perfect. So now we're going to uh, the Take a look at the categories, right? For the assigned categories for filtering, right? So of course, naturally, IP infrastructure which we did before, right? All right, so we can actually hit okay. Everything is good to go. So finding um, so the deploying uh, of the configuration baseline, right? The users through collections for evaluating uh, settings for compliance on a specified schedule. Gonna we're going to select the baseline, so. To actually deploy this first, right? And we can also deploy configuration baselines to devices or collections also. Uh, but nonetheless, through our deployment configuration, right? We're going to, uh, let's see here, right? And of course we want all users, yep. All right, uh, everything else looks pretty good for our, our schedule. Now we can see we it over here actually, you know what? This should be here next to our deployment. Now we can see uh, the all of the users for our collection that we just that we just had uh, created. So now we can move on to the next exercise, which is creating Windows configuration items for our compliance settings. So we can do this from the Microsoft side for the SCCM configuration packs and, and other vendors also define these configuration items. But nonetheless, we're going to start with importing configuration data. Right, so with this, I'm going to need some assistance from Internet Explorer from our tools here. All right, so let's see. Should be here. There we go. Run it. Of course, I agree. All right, it's just me. Yeah, that's fine. Install, install should be pretty quick. One of the quickest installs I've ever seen. All right, so uh, now we can actually uh, head back here. So let's take a look at the client settings, All right? Let's see. All right. <clears throat> then let's import the configuration. All right, of course we want to add, go back. Then we want here, we want, should be in vertical order, which we want to be. There it is. Perfect. All right, so <clears throat> we got to take care of so we can actually hit next. Make sure that's selected. Sometime. All right, perfect. So uh, we can actually hit next again. Every all of this looks pretty good. All right, that should be pretty quickly. Go by pretty quick as well. All right, so green check marks. We love to see it, right? Green check and good check marks, right? So now we can also see right here, the listed configuration baseline, right? So the Microsoft uh, System Center that we selected. But nonetheless, uh, this brings us to the end of the video for configuring uh, SCCM configuration items and baselines uh, for our, our this particular uh, video. So just for a brief recap of everything we've completed, we created a Windows configuration for item, configuration item for compliance settings for SCCM. Right, we created and deployed a configuration baseline, and we also imported the configuration data in SCCM20012. Uh, but this brings us to the end. Uh, I, loved, I loved it. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, but for the next video, 
So we're actually going to go over integrating network and security concept um, uh, components, actually. But I'll see you in the next video. You stay curious to stay secure.